During the early days of the church, there lived a man named Stephen. He was a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, known for his wisdom and his ability to perform miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Stephen fearlessly proclaimed the gospel, which stirred up the religious leaders of the day. They accused him of blasphemy and brought him before the Sanhedrin, the Jewish council. This man does not cease to speak blasphemous words against this holy place and the law. For we have heard him say that this Jesus of Nazareth will destroy this place and change the customs which Moses delivered to us. As Stephen stood before the council, his face shone like that of an angel. He recounted the history of the Jewish people, from Abraham to Moses to David, highlighting their repeated rejection of God's messengers. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Stephen boldly rebuked the council. You stiff-necked and uncircumcised in heart and ears. You always resist the Holy Spirit. As your fathers did, so do you. Which of the prophets did your fathers not persecute? And they killed those who foretold the coming of the Just One, of whom you now have become the betrayers and murderers, who have received the law by the direction of angels and have not kept it. Enraged by his words, the council dragged Stephen out of the city and began to stone him. But even in the midst of the stones raining down upon him, Stephen's gaze was fixed on heaven, where he saw the glory of God and Jesus standing at the right hand of God. Look, I see the heavens opened and the Son of Man standing at the right hand of God. Lord Jesus, receive my spirit, Stephen cried out as the stones continued to strike him. And then, echoing the words of his Saviour, he prayed, Lord, do not hold this sin against them. With that, Stephen breathed his last, becoming the first Christian martyr. His death marked a turning point in the spread of Christianity as persecution scattered the believers, spreading the message of Jesus Christ far and wide. The witnesses laid down their clothes at the feet of a young man named Saul. Though Stephen's life was cut short, his faithfulness and courage inspired countless others to stand firm in their faith, even in the face of persecution. His story reminds us of the cost of discipleship and the power of God's grace to sustain us in the most difficult of circumstances. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like and share.